Over 80% of you are not subscribed to Globetrotting, so subscribe and turn on post notifications. Air India is currently plotting the most significant order we may ever see, or one that is certainly up there. An order that would consist of 300 narrowbody aircraft from either Airbus or Boeing. But why is the Indian airline making such a decision to invest tens of billions at list price value in such a commitment? especially coming out of a pandemic and financial crisis, as well as the handover to new ownership and a merger announcement. Well, let's explore the following. Starting off with reputation. Throughout recent history, Air India has experienced turbulent times. Being located in India, they're also the flag carrier, and that comes with sizable expectations. You could argue that the Indian airline has fallen short of these expectations. It's a market that is quite hotly contested, and in the past decade has seen many newcomers, faces that also have taken the industry by storm, adopting the polar opposite regarding business models, and creating an environment where most Indians can travel, something widely appreciated. However, paired with Air India's financial concerns, critical business decisions, and absolute neglect, which could be directly attributed to their tricky ownership situation and economic performances, their reputation has tumbled and once a leading carrier, their perception hasn't been as of heightened importance, which in India can play a significant role in choosing to book with the airline or not, especially when considering the overall cost of flying. Part of this mammoth order is to revitalize the airline and streamline it to see operations perform better and impact on passengers be more incredible than ever. 2. Fleet a considerable deal could go many different ways, but namely the Max family and the A320neo at Boeing and Airbus respectively have been listed as prime candidates for such an order from Air India when it does take place. It has also been an order that has been rumoured to take place for some time. But as we know, these things take time and shouldn't be expected to say arrive overnight. So while the deal could head to either Airbus or Boeing, there is still the very real possibility that we see a split order that would result in the order heading 50-50 or 60-40 in favour of an aircraft manufacturer. Tata Group, which now owns Air India, believes the fleet renewal plans are critical to secure the future of such an airline in the industry, from leasing aircraft temporarily to exploring other wide-body aircraft, like the possible acquisition of the A350s in the future too. So, an emphasis on fleet has undoubtedly been made in the next era of the airline. Ownership. I did briefly touch on ownership, which is now a critical part of Air India. Why exactly, you may ask? Well, to get where we are now today has been a very long time coming, maybe longer than those at Air India would have liked, as the sale from the government was conducted, and as Tata took on a debt-ridden airline that was in a state of despair when they acquired it once again many, many decades since they last owned it. This ownership, unlike the previous resume, seems determined to overturn many of the difficulties that have been present with the airline for some time. It's therefore wholly committed to turn around the fortunes and make this an airline that the Indian people can be proud of once again. The acquisition of such planes will gravely improve its network and offers. With a narrowbody fleet currently consisting of just over 100 aircraft, this new order would raise that total capacity and also open up new possibilities, as well as allow and free up very generally their existing widebody planes to fly on different services, either increasing their market presence in one location or building a new connection for the people of India and the world. Having determined owners is essential for a successful business. While it doesn't always guarantee a perfect turnaround, it's a step in the right direction to have people at the helm that are interested in making the business profitable and loved. Of course, the recent merger announcement with Vistra will only strengthen their domestic offering on top of that as well. That's what I want to leave it on though. Well, love, while they are airlines too many, they're also flag carriers and important symbols of countries, their cultures and people. But unfortunately, throughout recent times, that connection with many airlines and their people has gone missing. The attempts to restore Air India's name and brand come with a huge task, but one that I think is gravely important to the future success of the major airline. A new look fleet, business, and of course, upcoming merger with Vistara 
will all be crucial steps in this process in turning around the airline. And of course, therefore, major commitments for new aircraft, whether it be wide body or narrow body, will be as just important. If you have any thoughts on the situation at Air India, do not hesitate to let me know down below in the comments. Thanks very much for your support here on the channel. We hope you've been enjoying the analysis that has featured. And of course, we wish you a very lovely, warm and comfortable festive and holiday season.